Good morning, Quadcopter 101 with another review of the JJRC H8D. I'm out of here at Satellite Lake. I wanted to demonstrate one thing. I didn't get a chance uh, to demonstrate headless mode of this quadcopter uh, in my last video. I'm so sorry about that. Let's go do that. That's the main thing I wanted to show you. Headless mode and one key return on this quadcopter. I got the quadcopter initialized. I am going to use the pylon off in the distance there as our base heading. Quadcopter is turned on. I'm pointing it at that pylon. Turning on the transmitter. And uh, turning off the lights to save battery power. And also turning on my FPV screen. And I do have a signal. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I do. Okay, I'm, I'm in 30%, and there we go. We've got a nice smooth takeoff. Let's go down to the pylon. Okay, I should be down by the pylon. Actually, I wanted to record video. Let me turn on the camera. The camera is recording. Turning. It's a good camera bird. Now I, I wedged a little bit of uh, foam in between the uh, lens of the camera and the uh, body of the camera, hopefully to uh, mitigate all that. Um, I was seeing a lot of jello in that, the first test flight video of this. So that hopefully will reduce the jello. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Sometimes I make a mistake. Well, let's test out that uh, headless mode like I promised. <laughs> I feel so ashamed. Okay, we're out there. Let's turn on headless mode. It's actually one key return. That's the one key return. What it does. Let's demonstrate that again. Coming out of it. When you press one key return. Remember that's our headless mode bearing. You know, if you're flying down that headless mode bearing, it just flies back down the bearing. I pressed one key return again, look, it's off to the left, because I was off to the left of the headless mode bearing. Let's go off to the right of the pylon and down that bearing. And I'm going to press the one key return. Notice it's coming down that bearing, that headless mode bearing, except it's off to the right. Let's pull it off to, our, to the left and bring it back to ourselves. So if you use this one key return, it actually does work kind of well if you stay down the headless mode bearing. Let's go directly down the headless mode bearing, down toward that uh, pylon, and pressing one key return. There we go. Okay, so that's the one key return feature. And it's important if you use this one key return is to, you know, point the, or keep the quadcopter pointed or flying off in the direction uh, where you initially had it pointed when you bound the transmitter. Because it flies back down that bearing when you press the one key return. See? And it's in headless mode, by the way. Now let's play with headless mode a bit. H. This is headless mode on the quadcopter, as you can see, as I'm doing pirouettes with it. But it enters vortex ring state very easily during those pirouettes, so I recommend it. Okay, turn it off that annoying beep of the one key return headless mode. Pretty cool, huh? Now let's increase the uh, flying rate of this quadcopter to get a little more oomph in our flying. Uh, let's check out its maneuverability. I didn't do a get a chance to do that before. Let's take it right up to 100%. 100%. Wow.
like its uh, cousin, the HHC, it is very, got a lot of oomph to it at 100%. And I'm not sure that battery is very good. I got another battery. Let me pop another battery in this thing. And we'll go for another flight. Okay, as usual, very important after uh, hitting the ground is to spin these props. Just to make sure that there's no dirt inside those the props itself okay we're still at 100 percent what happened was I turned upwind we had an upwind wind just pick up here I don't know if you could hear it or not in my microphone let's fly upwind into that and then come downwind show you the speed of this flying downwind <laughs> gotta be careful there I don't want to hit myself with this because the HAD and HHC have a little bit of weight to them. Come down wind again. Let's do another high speed pass. Now let's set it up wind again this time. And I want to do some more funnels with it. At 100%, that's the yaw rate at this thing at 100%, so the yaw rate does not increase that much. The pitch rate increases dramatically as you go up to 100%, but the yaw rate doesn't seem to change much on this quadcopter. Again, this is yaw rate at 100%. And I think the idea is, you know, this is a camera bird, an FPV. Actually, there is the battery life on the quadcopter. An FPV camera bird, that camera is always transmitting by the way. Um, because of that, you could probably expect shorter flight times in flying this, say, with the, uh, than the HHC. Because that camera is always on, it's always transmitting, unless you unplug it. But, uh, other than that, uh, the comparison to the HHC, uh, you know, again, this has its own FPV transmitter built in and notice a little bit of uh, foam that I wedged in there to reduce uh, vibrations I hope that mitigated the uh, vibrations from this camera so that was uh, another uh, demonstration flight of the HAD I was putting it through its paces there and with that in mind uh, I hit the ground a couple times that was my fault that wasn't the quadcopter's fault uh, going from upwind to downwind. I have a slight breeze coming here down the field today. So I hope you like that flight. It's Quadcopter 101 signing out.